Hello everyone, it's Pharaoh here. Uh, in preparation for the upcoming beta weekend and eventually release of Star Wars The Old Republic, I thought that uh, I would share with you some of the things that I do to help optimize uh, my gameplay. And uh, I've seen some debate on the forums about clicking versus key binding, and um, some people just say clicking fits their playstyle more, which is uh, understandable. You know, it's your game, play it the way you want. But if you want to really uh, maximize your efficiency and really like take your gaming up to the next level, you really need to be keybinding just about everything. And uh, that can seem kind of overwhelming at first, and I know it's, it's kind of you know, difficult to get used to, but I thought I would share some tips with you about how you can bind every ability and skill you need to an actual key and not feel like you know, you're trying to play the piano. Uh, and be very confused and disoriented. So, let's take a look right here and I'll show you how I do my personal setup. Alrighty. You might recognize what this is. This is a keyboard. Uh, you may have seen one before in your gaming adventures. And uh, most people, now, I am apologize if this gets really shaky. I'm having to hold my webcam here. Um, most people, they have a WASD configuration. And uh, that's pretty standard. Uh, that's what most people use. A long time ago, when I was playing uh, first-person shooters, it was called uh, Star Siege Tribes. I remember it was a great game. Anyway, I switched from WSAD over to ESDF. Why? Because, well, in that game, the zoom button was 3. And back then, I wasn't smart enough to just bind it to something else. So I just moved my whole setup over because I wanted to be able to zoom while I strafed. These are my strafe keys, uh, W and R. So I moved everything over so I could still hit my zoom button. Plus, it gave me extra keys for, you know, in pinky, Q and A. My Q is my reload key. A, I forget, was, I think, switch weapon. But it just gave me more keys, gave me Z down there, you know. And uh, then you can just hit tab and whatever else you need with your pinky. Also, it makes it a little easier to hit the shift button. I'll explain why that's important later. Um, basically, now I'm not saying you have to move it over to the E key that in the ESDF. That's just something that I do personally. But, um, like I said, it frees up more keys. It feels like it, I have more room. And uh, when you have, you know, 30 plus key binds that you need to be using on a regular basis, you know, uh, options are good. So, basically... Uh, key binding. Let's talk about this real quick because it's always been a hot debate. People say, I don't need to key bind. I can play just as well. That might be true. It might not be. But the uh, the analogy I'm going to give on that is, I mean, you know how to type, right? Everybody knows how to use a keyboard and, you know, you know how to type words. Imagine if you are having to hunt and peck, right? You know, how you did before you knew how to type. Well, it's essentially the same thing when you have to use your mouse to try to hunt and click an ability. Um, it's just quicker. It's always going to be quicker and more efficient just to say, oh, I need to do this now. Oh, I need to hit that one now. You know, it's just it's way easier when you have all your keys uh, right in front of you and, you know, in, where you can just reach them uh, in a split second. So, uh, especially if you're in the PvP. I mean, if you're in PvP, you, you have to keep on if you want to be competitive, and that's just the way it is. Uh, split seconds matter. So, uh, there's my setup and uh, keyboard turning. That's another big thing that people talk about. Um, uh, you know, usually your turn keys are bound right here to the, you know, between your forward and back button. Um, typically, <laughs> for me, I unbind my turn left, turn right, and back pedal buttons. You don't really need them. For one, when you backpedal, you never should backpedal. Uh, it just snares you by probably like 50%, depending on the game you're playing. It just makes you walk as opposed to run. Just use your mouse. Your hand, your right hand, will never leave your mouse. Ever. It shouldn't, anyway. <laughs> so pretty much, if you're ever going to run backwards, you're better off just spinning your camera with your mouse and strafing away with one of these keys. Or just straight up turning around and running. Because, I mean, walking backwards is just going to make you get to where you're wanting to go way slower. So, uh, keyboard turning is essentially the same thing. You can just use these two keys and your mouse to turn. Uh, 
and it's just it's easier, it's quicker, and it frees up more keys for you to press. So typically, when I move, these are my three movement keys, and then I turn with my mouse. If you're wondering, uh, forward, strafe left, strafe right. That's really all I need. That frees up. Look at all these keys I got under there. Look at that. So many keys. And then all these over here and up there. Oh my gosh. Um, so, and even then, okay, getting to that. So even with all these keys, you're going to find that you still might need more buttons to press, right? But look at this little trick. I know, this is going to take some getting used to. But like, let's say you have like a 30, uh, or I don't know, you know, a five minute cooldown that you don't use very often or something that doesn't need to be immediately, you know, it's not going to be a split second kind of ability you need to activate, you know, to live. You can use the Alt key. It's right there. God, I need to cut my fingernails, don't I? Anyway, um, Alt key, that essentially doubles, like now you have Alt S, Alt D, Alt, Alt, all these buttons. It gives you, doubles your key binding ability just in this region. And I mean, you still have your number keys up here. You can use Alt to make a modifier to add more options to all these keys. You can also use shift. If you really want to, you can use control. I usually don't just because that's awkward for me to reach kind of. And you know, then I, I don't know, it gets, gets my hand in a weird position. I like shift and I like alt because I don't have to move my hand. This shift, alt, shift, alt. Anyway, um, so that's a, a simple way that you can bind. Uh, I mean, that's, God, how many keys is that? And then you've got, you know, two modifiers to so triple the amount of keys just in this region and you've got I mean, easily over 30 keybinds there. Um, but, you know, I know it seems daunting and kind of overwhelming to be like, I, I, you know, I don't want to bind all those keys, but you really should. Um, there's going to be, you know, I, I don't know. You, sh you should just, <laughs> I have a system. Like, I've done this for a while. So, um, like, I always have my, you know, my defensive cooldowns to X. It's just something that I've done because I've just, it's the way I work. Like in uh, in WoW, Mortal Strike was usually G, just because it was there. I could just spam it. It was easy. Um, you know, I usually had like something like a. Sometimes I had uh, like my offensive cooldowns all macroed to F, or you know, if I didn't have a macro, like I don't think there are macros in Star Wars, and hit F and Alt F and Shift F and aggravate all your you know cooldowns you need with one key basically. You know, just use your finger and your thumb. You got them all right there. Um, so, I mean, there's really no reason that you can't get all your keys bound. There is a way. It's, it's a little bit more work, but in the end, the payoff, guys, is so, it's so much more efficient than trying to click. I it never click. It's just, I know people say, I mean, if it suits you and you like it, and that's just the way you enjoy playing the game, that's fine. I mean, I'm not here to tell you not to enjoy playing the game, but... If you really want to be a really good competitive player in PvE or especially PvP, um, you need to be binding your keys. And uh, God, I'm really sorry for the blurriness of this video, by the way. But um, that's just, I mean, if you're having really a lot of trouble, I got something recently. And I'm sure you've seen one of these before. Oh, yeah. That is a Razer Naga Epic. And what you're looking at right there are 12 buttons <laughs> right there on the side of my mouse. That's 12 buttons just with my thumb. Let me here, I'll put my hand on it so you can see. I mean, so right there, you know, it's you know, it's it's taken it's taken me a little bit to learn how to use, but I mean, I have 12 buttons right there that I can reach. And uh I mean, it's pretty amazing, really. And then you got you actually got two more on top right there and your mouse button. So, I mean, you know, and then you got the alt and shift keys to use as modifiers. I mean, that's <laughs> 36 buttons right there. Um, so, I mean, that you know, that's a really nice mouse. It's a little expensive. I think it's, you know, somewhere in the hundred-something dollar range. But, um, I, like I said, I'm not saying that's for everybody, but there are plenty of ways, plenty of ways to get all your keys bound. And, honestly, you will, I, I promise, if you're not binding your keys and you're still keyboard turning and backpedaling, when you make the change, you will notice an improvement in your gameplay. And, uh, I mean, the keyboard turning and back pulling, that's more for PvP. But, I mean, even still, just unbinding those keys frees up three keys for you. Well, really, nine because of the two, you know, shift and alt. I mean, even control, if you want to use control. I don't, but you can. And, there, like I said, there's just really no reason not to bind your keys. You will notice a significant improvement in your gameplay. 
And honestly, I think it's more fun once you get used to it. Uh, like I made a reference to playing the piano. And it's, it's really kind of, it's that kind of uh, technical ability, really. Like you'll feel like awesome when you just know like this is my, uh, you know, oh, force leap. And oh, your master strike over here. And you know, all this stuff. When you get in tune with that, when you just know what button does what ability and you're just able to call it to memory just like that, it's 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 a lot more fun. It makes the gameplay more uh you know, fluid, more more efficient and you'll enjoy it a lot more and you will be become a better player as a result. I promise you that. Um so I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, uh comments, concerns, anything like that, please ask me in my channel. Uh, also, I'm sure you guys are getting tired of these videos having no music, <laughs> uh, but uh, if you guys have any uh, suggestions, music you'd like me to play in the background of these uh, in the future, please let me have those as well. Also, uh, this this weekend in the uh, beta, if there's anything you would like me to cover, because I'll probably mostly be covering uh, PvP, um, I've had a request to maybe do a little bit over the crafting, and I'm going to see what I can do for uh, for that. Uh, if you have any requests of things you would like to see in specific, uh, please let me know. Otherwise, it's probably going to be the majority uh, PvP videos because I'm not going to run the story for people. So, um, anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, whatever you feel like doing. If you enjoyed the video, there will be a lot more to come, guys. Uh, so, I will see you soon.